We looked at the Oystins model and thought that this would best be replicated in our region. Obviously, there's a relationship with them already in the area of football and cricket, so we intend to expand that. But we're going to make it a formal, a formal arrangement. So that we see this taking off in our region, and this could promote bilateral relations between both countries. This could promote sport tourism. To yourself. Good, good morning, morning to Mr. Prescott and a special good morning to Mr. Hamilton Lashley who would have been very instrumental in us being here and, um, and having all the various linkages. So we are a new council, the 11th council of the Kuva Tabaki Talpa Regional Corporation. Um, there are 14 municipal corporations in Trinidad and Tobago and we are the second largest. We have two city corporations, five borough corporations and seven regional corporations. Our council size is 19 members. We have 15 councillors and four older men. Now, we are at a stage in Trinidad and Tobago where we, we cannot depend on our natural resources um, anymore. We have been heavily reliant on oil and gas production for many years, but we are not at that stage anymore. And um, as, 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 as practitioners of local government, the general population looks to us for the solution to everything and i'll exaggerate for emphasis if your burgess bounces their big toe they call the councillor councillor bounce my big toe i just say you know just exaggerating but they depend on local government for everything even the services of central government and even though we make that distinction these are our rules and these are the rules of central government they still we find ourselves as local government practitioners being more grounded and more connected to to the people so that brings upon a, a greater sense of expectation on our behalf now without resources we are challenged to do developmental work and this is my fourth trip to Barbados and um, the Oystens fish fry festival model is really amazing it is out of this world the first time I visited there on a Friday night I, I met with a lot of foreigners and I even encountered some who indicated they flew into the island just for that weekend activity and that amazed me because the infrastructure is not um, the most modern it is very basic but it is actually what the customer wants and where we represent in the Kuva Tabaki Talpa region which is really in central Trinidad we have a large section of waterfront with a lot of fishermen so we have that that natural supply it works very organically for us for us we have the fisher folk and so on and the fish fry festival is something we could implement our main town within our region is the town of Kuva but we find our town being a very dead town after working hours. People who reside within the town, they would leave the town centre after they finish work to go north Trinidad to Port of Spain or south Trinidad for food. Why, why would they do that? Why don't they stay in the Kuva? Because there's nothing attractive enough for them. So we are really on a spatial development drive. We are looking to develop some of our public spaces, spaces that belong to us, and maybe we may be able to partner. Now, in the absence of funding, we have already started meeting um, private partners, uh, private businesses who are willing to latch on to the ideas. So the Oystens model is one that we are looking at. Yeah. But apart from, apart from that, while, while we were on tour, we are picking up new ideas. Now, we are looking at sport tourism also. We have many cricket teams who would have traveled to Barbados over the past couple of years, many years, to participate in the Garfield Sobers Cricket League and so on. In March coming, March 29th to the April 2nd, there's a softball league that's going to be running in Barbados. And we have some women's team coming from Trinidad. Why are they coming to Barbados to play cricket? Why don't the Bajans and Jamaicans come to Trinidad also? So we are looking to see what attracts people. So it's not just the cricket, but we know you have entertainment, the nightlife and so on. You know, um, I, I must say also the levels of crime is very, uh, you know, compared to us, it is very acceptable. At no point in time, 11 of us made the trip, I must say. Wow. Yeah, out of the, the team of 19. 
and at no point in time did we feel unsafe at all we felt safe walking through the streets even almost at midnight we felt safe and um, back home you know it's not already so but hopefully that could get better eventually but we are, as you rightfully said we are not going to reinvent the wheel as CARICOM neighbors if something is working for someone we should all be open to looking and learning and that is what we are here for all right absolutely and i can see uh where the exchange of in information can take place because i'm i'm hearing talks uh about moving away from uh only national representation to local representation which is what you already do so the the cross-pollination is you know is timely uh right now trevor yeah 